Lesson 3. Select the Perimeter Measurement tool. Select the section to measure and click an empty space to show the measurement. XY is the XY distance between the two endpoints. There is a convenient feature to add measurements. Type plus and drag around two or more measurements. Click empty space to show the sum. As you might be able to guess, subtracting measurements uses quick step entry of minus. Drag around two measurements. Click empty space to show the difference. We might want to measure the total of two or more sections. Make selection with the shift key down to accumulate selection. The ruler tool measures the direct distance between two locations. Drag from a point A to point B. Then click the empty space to show the direct distance measurement. Here we continue to measure another distance. The result shown is a sum of the two distances. The F9 key clears all measurements from the display. Let us show you how useful the original pattern feature is. Select the pattern with the control key down. Then press control A to save the original copy of the pattern. Using the control section tool, move a line up a little. The original pattern is shown in light gray color. The user may save original patterns multiple times. Each control A saves the latest shape as the original copy. The user may choose to go back to the original shape. Right mouse click inside the pattern and select the Restore Original command. The pattern is restored to the last original pattern saved. Let's look at ways to manipulate a mirror pattern. With the default tool, type M for mirror and drag from point A to point B to define the fold line. The mirror line is shown in red dotted line. Right click inside the pattern to bring up the pattern menu. Select the unfold command to unfold the pattern. This time we try folding the pattern. We can override a previous mirror line by defining a new one. Notice how a curved section becomes straight. If a section is selected before doing the M quick step, the pattern is unfolded and kept that way. Select the Align Point tool. It is used to align multiple points along a reference line. Select points, then drag a reference line. Notice how the distance from each point to the reference line is dynamically computed and displayed. When the left button is released, the selected points are aligned with respect to the reference line. The Align Section tool aligns lines as opposed to points. Select lines, then drag a reference line. When the left button is released, the selected lines are aligned to the reference line. Let us show you how to copy sections to other sections. Select a section and type Ctrl C to copy. Select another section and type Ctrl V to paste. Let us show you the quick step method to flip a line. First, select a line and then type control key while pressing the up or down arrow to flip. Control left and right arrow flips the line left to right. 